Kreia, did you hear about this Star Wars Battlefront classic collection that just came out? I do not engage in entertainment simulations, but I remember it was rather popular among my students at the Jedi Temple, yes. Yeah, exactly. So they re-released the game to, like, update it. Everyone was super hyped to play the multiplayer, but it releases and there's only three fucking servers, man. You will have to educate me. Three servers. Yeah, so 64 people in each server, so like a multiplayer session, basically. And there's three sets of 64, which is, uh, Jamie, can you pull up the calculator? 192. How'd you pull that up so fast? Just did it in my head. Okay, got a fucking smart guy. Anyway, Kreia, so that's 192 total people playing the multiplayer. Are you fucking serious? That's less players than the amount of Jedi that miraculously survived Order 66. I mean, just on PC alone, there's like 18,000 people who put the game in their wish list. So let me get this straight. They launched this game with only three servers on PC, knowing full well people only bought it for that sole reason. Peak comedy gold. Easy refund. What a disappointment. It is arrogance the likes of the Jedi. Just as the Jedi hesitated in the Mandalorian Wars, so does this game wait to launch its servers, believing themselves above such a thing. They were brought easy money and they condemned it. The arrogance. It's fucking insane, man. Jamie, pull up some of the reviews. Let's have Kraya read those. You load into an Aspir dedicated server in multiplayer, and when the game's countdown timer to spawn you in elapses, you don't spawn. So you try to pick a new spawn point, a new class. You try to respawn. Anything to get you on the field of battle. Nothing works. Space missions near unbearable, personally, honestly, probably a skill issue. The multiplayer matches have had their player counts doubled from 32 to 64 players for some reason, only to have a 100 tickets for each team, making them stupidly short, like five fucking minutes. Instead of the fun tug of war you should get in a conquest match. Quit my job for this launch, and I can't even get into a multiplayer match. Also, why does Kit Fisto look like a psychopath? Three servers for Battlefront 2 and zero servers for Battlefront 1. Also, missed child's birth, child's funeral, graduation and moon landing for this. Now, actually, for that one, I will have to fault the player. He deprived himself of his strength for a silly game and- I think it was a joke. Indeed, this game is a no, joke. I mean like- A mockery of what once was considered an art form. A decay in quality, a fall from grace, where the pursuit of profit eclipses the crafting of meaningful experiences. How can one justify such negligence? To launch a vessel into the stars without the engine to propel it, without the fuel to sustain its journey, is akin to this. Releasing a game so fundamentally broken that its very essence, its soul, is missing. It's as if the developers have turned into Sith Lords themselves. I mean, I don't dealing think I would in absolute just came out. Assuming that any product bearing the sacred name of Star Wars would be eagerly devoured, no matter how incomplete or flawed. The Andor show was good, though. This is not merely a failure. It is a betrayal. A betrayal of the trust that gamers place in developers, in publishers, to respect their time, their investment, their passion. And for what? A quick profit? The irony is palpable. Like a Sith who drains worlds of their life to fuel their own power, they have drained this game of its essence, hoping to fuel but their wouldn't greed. wouldn't the Jedi teach us patience? That true strength comes from understanding? From Qualities respect. that are evidently absent from this release. Yeah, but lots of games release like this. Like, I'm sure more servers will you be You mean to soon, say you that know? many games release like this? Yeah, some of the reviews are being updated. It looks like there's more servers up now. Pull them up then. Yeah, I'm about to. Just give me one second. Pull them up, young Jamie. Update. After two hours, they finally launched the servers, and they are terrible. Horrible ping, stuttering, and by tomorrow, cheaters will be rampant. Update was only able to join one Heroes. Notice that he used the possessive form of hero there with the apostrophe rather than the plural noun form. Anyway, Heroes versus Villains match and the Heroes side, once again, a foolish grammatical error, was completely broken. No one could join the... Are you fucking serious? Yes, indeed. 
as he says at the end, wow. Sprinting feels weird, shame. There are mods that do way more and do it better for free. Oh yeah, I was meaning to ask you about the restored content mod from your game. Ah uh, yes, it was excellent. It let me talk way more. Yeah, well, the uh, developer who made this Battlefront collection, they promised that they would release that mod as downloadable content for the Nintendo Switch release that they developed. Ah, then they are not as much of an imbecile as I had thought. Mad respect. Yeah, but then they never released it. A betrayal, not unlike the Council's exile, expected, yet still profoundly disappointing. Yeah, they also fucked up the Knights of the Old Republic remake. What do you mean, remake? They were supposed to remake the game. Why? Because it's old as fuck, dude. And turn-based combat, I mean, all that skill check stuff, it's pretty shit. I grow tired of your games, Joe Rogan. This interview is done.